Hi guys, welcome back to Project Portsmouth on my channel. This is uh, an FM20 save. We are on year two, part seven. Uh, I don't always sound very confident when I say that, but yes, I, uh, part seven. We, in the last episode, we played Millwall, I think, on the camera. Um, I don't know why I keep it on the camera. On the live com, one all draw. It's been a bit of a mixed bag of results from them, but we've had a couple of fantastic ones. So, Bristol City. Bristol City were in the fifth or sixth when we played them. We got a 1-0 win, um, probably slightly, probably deserved, I'd say. Uh, I'm fairly happy. I mean, it was Barcola managing to get, I think, another header. He's really straight. I'm playing, I'm tr training him now to play left mid rather than left attacking mid, um, which is going to be a bit of a problem in terms of him going forward um, because he is a really good striker, and I keep forgetting that he can play there. If you look at his stats, apart from maybe his dribbling and maybe composure, everything else is really good. Um... He had never played left mid before, and he was really not very good at it. But we're starting to get in there now. He's played a few games there, and I think he could do a job there, to be honest. Um, now, obviously, it does waste his 14 finishing, but the good thing about him, he is versatile. So, But he, yeah, he gets our, our, our goal there and makes it 1-0. We then played Huddersfield, and that was a bit disappointing because they're low down. They're not. They're in fifth. Well, we lost 2-0 to them. We were battered as well, um, especially the first half. We, we did come back a bit more in the second half, but unfortunately... Just wasn't enough, you know, we, we didn't really create anything. We, we um, all round bad team performance, but didn't help that they had a couple of good um, performances on their team. And one of them was just a header, Ramadan, interesting name, um, and another header. So, you know, we can't really do much about that, unfortunately. They even played Swansea. Now, this is a really good result. Swansea are in 16th, so they're quite low down the table. We got a 2 0 win. I'm pretty sure in this game, um, Brown scored a wonder goal. I, I, I was it in this game? I'm not sure, but Brown scored a really, really good goal. I think we'll see it here, the first one. Matheson whips it over. That was just a volley from the edge, from the sort of near the edge of the box, but it was a really good goal. And then here, Curtis, he hadn't scored in like 10 games, bam, laps in. And um, it was good to see him get back on the score sheet because he's been pretty bad recently. Then we played Charlton, and that was a nil nil result. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, literally no one had a good game apart from one of their centre backs, so. Um, we've been struggling in terms of going forward, as you'll notice throughout here. Parrot hasn't scored in the league, well, any time since for two months, which is very worrying. We have told him we're disappointed, and you know, Bottom's got a few goals here and there. Not been fantastic, but here's where he was fantastic. One nil against Crystal Palace. We did not deserve to win it in terms of creating opportunities, but we were fantastic defensively in this game. Absolutely solid. Um, now we're just going to show you the goal. I was delighted. We we were on defensive at this point. We weren't even trying to get a win. We were just played on defensive. But Brown here, corner into bottom. And we got a 1-0 win against who were in first place. First in the league. Dominating the league. They've only lost six games all season. And one of them was to us, the promoted team. So, um, yeah, really delighted to get a 1-0 win against Crystal Palace. Now, in this game, we've got the FA Cup fifth round against Port Southampton, which is our fierce rival. Um, really excited to play this. Where are they in the Premier League? They are 17, so they are struggling. Obviously, they are way better than us, but if we can pull off something very similar to what we did against uh, Crystal Palace, we're going to go for a very similar setup. It's just close is going to come out for Naylor. I think we're going to try and keep the rest of it as close, similarly as possible. I think Bolton will come out. Um, what more just can't can't come out, really, can he? Burgess can go in, so down in. Uh, Sheaf will come out for Malumbi. Um, and I guess Barcola goes in. And bottom starts. So, I said we're not going to make any changes. We've made loads of changes there. But we have to kind of account for the fact that we've got a few tired players. Um, so we'll put Dan on the bench in case what more needs to come off. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we've are gonna we taken off a couple of things. We're against the big teams. I've taken off Be Expressive and taken off Work the Ball into the Box. I think everything else is the same. I just thought we need to sort of worry less about being really creative and just being solid defensively. So that's who we're going to play against, Southampton. I'm hoping we can pull off something really good here. Imagine if we can make it into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. That would be fantastic. Um, we're going to say to them, you know, they've been playing poorly recently. Let's pile on the misery. And uh, let's get straight into this game. I realise we've, we've gone into this game quite quickly. 
Um, it is because today is Saturday and it is Bayern Munich versus Bayer Leverkusen, so I really want to watch that. So that's why I'm kind of getting through this quite quickly. Obviously, it's a double game header. Uh, so what I'll probably do is play this game uh, just in time for the game to start. Watch the first half of the the game and then come back for the second episode game in this episode. And then, you know, watch the second half because I think it's a big game. I think if Bayern Munich win, they've fully already won the league now. Um, if Bayer Leverkusen win it, there's still a possibility. There's still a chance, you know, but... I don't for for Dortmund and for Bayer Leverkusen, but it, like I said, it, even even a draw, I think Bayern Munich have won this now. Bayern Munich have pretty much won the league, but we are holding our own. Look at our possession. Look at our, you know, we've not only had one shot on target, but um, let's give the fans like the cheer for. All right, so we'll let them know we have faith faith in them because we do we do have faith for whatever reason. I. I I'm be I believe in them today. Can we not lose the ball and can we create something? Naylor into Williams. Crossing it in. Naylor. Barcola. Oh, unlucky. Not a great, not a great effort, but it ends up being quite close to goal. Um, I mean, do you know what? We've been, we've been so good here for some reason. We are going to work the ball into the box. I feel like uh, my assistant is right there. We, we've had so much of the ball that we can probably afford to do that. The only problem is it does leave us a little bit exposed defensively if we you know bring too many players up but we are on cautious so hopefully we'll be able to compensate with that who's been playing badly bottom for parrot this is the problem with the striker option is now more confusing it's not like i can give parrot loads of game time when he's not playing well because we have a really good option on the bench um but that's what we're going to go with hopefully that that sort of change of impetus up front a bit more pace from parrot um a bit more sort of natural finishing ability but can we hold on here no, offside no it's gonna count okay well now we, we we're now out of options really um i think we are gonna have to be more expressive higher tempo and we're just gonna have to try and um we're still gonna regroup i don't think count pressing is gonna help us we know it's not been good for us this season um at this point now, we just need to try and get a goal. So who's gonna? Who I reckon can get us a goal? If anyone's gonna get it, it's gonna be Curtis. Um, Williams has been pretty poor. So Paragini. Do you know what? We're gonna go like this. We're gonna do this. Um, we don't play this formation very often because it's not been very good for us. But come on, lads. We just need one goal. Uh, we're gonna encourage them. I don't like using encourage too much, but it does seem to work a lot of the time, especially when you just concede the goal. Um, we are now gonna have to go on barriers. I mean. <laughs> Do you know what? We, if we lose this game, I'm not going to be too disappointed. We, we were playing out of our depth, really. And that's it. We've gone out of the league against our fierce rivals. And um, nobody expected us to win. You gave you everything. And it's true. You know, they didn't play particularly great. But, um, you know, we got to the fifth round. 12 matches without scoring. Granted, a lot of that's been off the bench. Um, I mean, Malumbi, we've been, he's been really poor since he joined. Really, really poor. I know it's just that, you know, it didn't help that... Oh, well, new gate receipts record. That is brilliant. Um, but yeah, we... Disappointing, but... We, we were already in the fifth round, which is what the board the board just wanted us to be competitive. And we definitely were that. So, I think we're going to put a pause on the episode here. I'm going to go watch the first half of the Bayern Munich by Leverkusen game. Um, and then we'll come back for the Fulham game. Uh, let me just check this. Yeah, fine. We'll come back for the Fulham game. And... Um, see you in not too long all right so we're back we are about to play the second game against fulham um just seen that Bayern munich free one up against leverkusen really good first half really good to see and that's real life out of the way because that's not as important right now what's important is that we can get a great result um against this team now should we put nailer in that dm role i think we should uh, i put close back in and put sheaf in Alright, that's what I'll figure out. Okay, so Brown needs to be a little bit tired. He can come out. I think Watmore can come out as well, you know, despite being our like, number one. Um, does Hoban and Downing have a relationship? No, we'll put back Downing in, though. Bolton can go in. Uh, Paragini. Paragini has been really disappointing. I'm actually going to let him know as well. Um, he's supposed to be our star player. Okay, so 
And uh, yeah, and Baco can come out as well for Curtis. So I think that's what we're going to go with. Anyone on the bench that can come in? No, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think at this stage, Williams has cemented himself as that sort of... Oh, I don't know, actually. Okay, no, we'll put Harness on the bench. All right, that's the team that's going to play against Fulham today. Fingers crossed we can get another result. We've had a couple of really good results recently, especially against big teams. So let's see what happens here. Obviously, Curtis and Parrot and Paragini are kind of some of our best goal scorers, or at least, no, well, Parrot and Curtis have been. So, um, good save in the end there from that opportunity. We're not too far, well, we're ahead of Leeds at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, we're ahead of Leeds uh, by one point, uh, I mean, as it stands. I think we've got less goal difference. I've got one more goal difference, but... Oh, Seri? Oh, I thought it was going to be a yellow card or a red card then. Um, okay, you know, we're not... We're controlling a bit more of the ball, but we're not having any opportunities. Hopefully, uh, we can create an opportunity or two soon. It's going to be difficult without what more, more in there, because he's just been consistently a very good defender for us. I think just having him in the team, like it's like close, just having him in the team makes the team play well, even if they're individually not playing amazing. They're just a positive influence on the rest of the team. Paragini here, can he do anything? Into Curtis, love to see it. 11th goal of the season in, for Ronan Curtis. It's been a revelation this season. He had a really poor patch of probably about 10 games where he did really badly. But after that patch, he started to bring get his old form back in as well. That's fantastic to see, and hopefully we don't concede. Yes, we do. Alfie Mawson heads it, knocks it on to Ivan Cav Cavaliero. And it's one all. But this is a big team. This is a team in fourth in the championship. I think this is the team that next season we really want to be winning this sort of game. Uh, but this season, you know, we, we can't expect miracles. We've only just been promoted. <laughs> but saying that, Troy Parrott's finally got himself on the score sheet. Let's go. 15th goal of the season for Troy. I'm glad I kept faith. And looks like Close has picked up a slight knock here. Groin injury. Don't, we don't like them. He'll come off at half time. Yeah, he's not really recovering from it. So uh, don't get complacent out there, lads. And Close, you will come off for... Molumbi. Don't know why I said it like that, but don't ask questions. Alright, um, that's what we're going to go with. Come on, lads. I mean, we've, we've definitely, despite controlling most of the ball, we've had nowhere near as many chances. We've had a half chance, they've had a clear cut chance, so I guess we're sort of even on that regard. Um, I, oh, has Molumbi picked up a knock as well? Well, oh, screw it, you have to stay on. We haven't got any more, anyone on the bench who can play there, really, I don't think. Or Malumbi. No, we've got no one else who can play in that position, so... I'm afraid, mate, you have to play on. Um, I, I do want to go defensive soon, but I don't want to do it too soon. Otherwise, we're just inviting too much pressure. Okay, I think we're sort of at the stage now, so 77th minute. Um, who can we bring off here? So, our midfield is stuck now. <laughs> Um, Curtis can come off for Barcola. Um, I think that's all we're going to go with. So we're going to go waste time, hold shape, slow the pace down, and sit more on that. Um, sit defensively, mark tighter. Okay, all right. We just need to hold on now. They've got a set piece though. Oh, okay, all good, all good, all good. Don't panic. Uh, we'll save our substitution to right near the end. Can we hit them though from a set piece? Oh, we're gonna get counter attacked. What is that defending? You just let him run through the middle. Oh no. That's so disappointing. Do you know what? We are gonna stick though because a point against this team is a very good point. Um, I think in terms of last minute subs, we can probably put bottom on just for that last few minutes oh, it's very disappointing but it's a point it's a point like I said um we've we've done well against big teams recently in the last sort of couple of months or last month or so so Malumbi's gonna be out for a week so is close oh okay it's a good thing we've got two players on our own um Parrot finally after 11 matches gets a goal Galbraith okay so, 
It leaves us a little bit short for the next game, but I guess we've still got players like... May's got okay match sharpness, who can play in that midfield. Cannon can play in that midfield, although he's a bit tired. Stewart can put Gully back, so we should be okay. Uh, so now, we, now we're finishing this episode up. We can look at the, t the table. So we are in 10th place. Um, we're now 13, 14 points out of the relegation zone, so I'm pretty confident. Well, very confident now. Um, we are only seven points outside of the playoffs. Again, we, I don't think we're going to hit playoffs, but um, we, you know, we, we're doing quite well. We can probably, we might be able to cement that seventh position by the end of the season. That'd be lovely to see. And there's 46 games in this season, isn't there? So um, we've still got a little bit of time, a little bit of time to, you know, make sure we are a fully established championship team. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look at the games for the next episode. It's such a strange run of form, with just sort of one on, one off, one off, one off. Um, we've got Birmingham, Brentford, Luton, Wigan. Okay, so we've got a weird amount of games left where we're sort of, it'd be difficult to fit two, two episodes into this, but I think we will. Maybe we'll come back for Wigan, and then we'll come back for Forest at the end. Um, but then I would like to play Burnley and Forest, so don't know what to do. We could do a triple header. It'd be a massive, massive episode. But we could do Preston, Burnley, and Forest. The thing is, with our position in the table, it's not like we we like need to some you know have to like save ourselves from relegation or try and get into playoffs. I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna play. All of these off camera and come back just for the last three games do a triple header that'd be really interesting to see um a long episode but i'm hoping you'd enjoy it because i think i would um but yeah um i hope you have enjoyed this episode a bit, uh, a bit of a strange one again we, we we didn't actually win any of our games on the live com but they were both tough games um i'm happy i'm hope you're happy with where we are in the table i'm happy what i think is very interesting about our team is that we've got um Even our players that have got high star ratings aren't particularly great. Like Close, apparently, is a good player for championship sides. So if you look at someone like Bolton, who's two and a half, he's a good player for League One sides. That's two and a half. So like Downing is free. That puts him at good for most League One. So our team isn't actually very good. What about Sheaf? He is good for League One. So we're not... We don't have any fantastic players right now. You know, one of our best players is Parrot. He is... Um, where is he? He's operating at a championship level. So he's... He's only got a couple of players who are playing at a championship level. Even Paragini, who was one of our best players. You know, he's a good player for championship sides. Okay. But that's it. We've only got a couple of players like that. So we are struggling in terms of the quality. We just I think the tactic is really working for us. So... I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like on the video. If you have been watching for a little while and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It makes me feel really good. Um, so for now, take care and goodbye.